Hey everybody, it's Matt from New Haven Homestead. I got the old chicken coop totally taken down except for this little piece here. I got that part of it tilled up. I've got squash and zucchini in there. Honestly, I don't know which ones are which at this point in time. I didn't have a marker on them. I got the other two that are either going to be the squash or zucchini. Got my volunteer pumpkin there. Three tomatoes there, three more there. All my jalapenos in there. In this one, I've got four mortgage leverages and two other um, tomatoes. Cucumbers over there by the coop. Worked on expanding this part out. Didn't get much of it done. But my main goal for so far this weekend Let's get this coop mainly taken down as we swivel one back around and putting it up there the back end of that is going to be the back end of this coop run which i'm going to add a board from here to here and split this so i can open top only but when I say the back end of the scoop, this part, let's see if we can, there we go, put some light on it. Gonna be putting that piece around the back of there and also add a little bit more back there to keep it together. It's coming together slowly but surely. I got the back wall and it goes all the way down to the ground. Or, well to me it's the back wall I'm going to have this other wall put in I got the rain bucket there it's already catching rain off the top I got another tub in the house I'm probably going to do another one because that one holds about 22 gallons which this simple roof it's a six foot by eight foot. It'll collect a lot of rainwater. Want to be more than enough to water the garden. When I get the other tubs here, I'm gonna move the, these blocks down and just line them up. I do have a lot of grass clippings here. We're gonna gather it all up. I'm gonna put more corn in with those squash. And more corn over there with those because corn squash and beans always go together should have had the corn started before i put those in but i got it over here in this one but it's coming together so the job tomorrow mulch all the walkways with the tree mulch there work on getting the garbage out and just clean the stuff up and make it better constant forward progress haven't been able to do a lot today but we got a lot done but i say haven't done a lot i've only made that little bed there tilled this little bit up and took apart the coop which that was the hardest part, just getting the nuts and bolts to come come apart one one two and where I wanted them to. Most of the pieces that were on ground on this are non-pressure treated wood, so it's over in the creek area, rotting away with some screws still in it. This I got a bolt there. Need to get the those out. Which one to get that out? I can get this piece of hardware cloth out because for the most part it's free of everywhere but that one board down there on the bottom and when I get that out I can rip out all those weeds there and go from there but the dogs are barking at the deer I would water these in right now but I don't know if you can hear it or not. We got a little bit of rain coming in. 
so we got that but this area it's that dark because the chicken coop sat there for two years while the chickens ran it but it's all good so what are you doing to grow stuff this year I still want to get at least four to eight sweet banana peppers because I always make pepper rings but I'm going to be going to the farmer's market with produce to sell what I can, when I can, where I can get all this grown up another thing coming from the um, greenhouse where I got the plants from I can guarantee you that it's all certified organic but I can't certify officially because I don't know if they used anything that was non-organic on them in the beginning I can say it but not sure if they can but tomorrow I'll be out at Heritage Farm with my friend Miss Schumann helping her to chaperone to her class around so we'll see how everything goes take care god bless keep moving forward grow food as much as you can and i really don't have a lot of area here that's taken up this right here is about a six by eight foot for these six plants this bed's a seven by three that bed back there is a seven or about six by three and so is this one that one there seven by three two by five and the one that's up against the coop is a foot and a half by six well it might be by five i'm not sure and then these two on the open ground well three on the open ground other than that that's not a lot of space I'm also going to be planting some basil in with these and maybe some sage and other herbs take up some area and keep planting up take care God bless I know you can see a few of the moths going by but also the raindrops like, share, subscribe, comment. You know how to do the things. Keep up good work. Later.